Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian. I've been keeping busy these past few weeks playing through all the Space Quest games with the SQH Discord, ostensibly to capture footage for a future series I'm doing, but of course we couldn't resist messing around a bit. For instance, a couple of weeks ago we were playing Space Quest 1 and 2, but after we were done with that we decided to mess around a bit with Space Quest 3 just for shits and giggles, so we got out the original floppy version, not the collection version, because you can't do this with that version, the original floppy version with the original setup program, and and we put the game into four color CGA mode. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't recording at the time, so I can't show you the priceless first reaction that some of the Discord denizens had at seeing the game in this god awful, hideous mode, but here's a somewhat accurate recreation. So after we got over the initial shock, we started messing around with the debug mode, cause my mate Pickle Dog said, oh wait, if you think this is bad, oh you have to see Flea Hut. But I didn't have any save games for this version yet, and I wasn't about to go through the whole garbage freighter thing in four colors, so we were like, fuck it, let's just pump that shark and teleport there. But we didn't know what room numbers were for Flea Hut, so we had to guess, and of course we got it wrong, so we ended up in Monolith Burger instead, more specifically, at the clerk close-up, and... Whoa! Dude, uh, you feeling alright? Oh, good god. Um, uh, your pupils are just sort of detached from your face there, but uh, they, they seem to be back. That's very reassuring, I guess. Um, so, so after seeing that eldritch horror show unfold before us, of course we wanted to peace out as fast as humanly possible, so we hit up another teleport code. But this one didn't so much take us away as it just added to the nightmare fuel, because suddenly the two guys themselves just appeared on screen floating beside the clerk, chatting away to no one in particular. In fact, this conversation that they're having right now is actually the conversation that happens at the end of the game after you escape Scumsoft and put the aluminum mallet into attack speed just before Elmo sends his skull fighters at you. And yes, I realize what I just said was complete gibberish to anyone who hasn't finished Space Quest 3, but let's face it, why are you watching a video about this if you haven't finished Space Quest 3? Anyway, this conversation is on a timer. In the actual game, when you're watching this conversation happen, you're not supposed to be paying attention to it. You are supposed to immediately go into the nav screen, raise the shields, and fight off the skull fighters. Because if you don't, well, game over. But in this horrifying four-color instance, we could just sit back and watch the entire conversation unfold. And right at the end, just before it looped, this happened. D did you see that? Did you Mark Crow just turned his head and looked at the player. Okay, so you may be thinking, big fucking deal, Scott Murphy does the same earlier in the conversation. Yes, but the thing is, no one has ever actually seen this. The Cutting Room Floor website states that this animation of Mark turning his head is unused, that it doesn't happen in the game, and I guess they're technically right. Like, if you're playing the game normally and watching this conversation, then the timer actually runs out before it gets to Mark's line, so you are dead in space before it happens. But until now, everyone just thought that, you know, this thing about Mark turning his head to address the player, that was something they, they drew up but never used. But this line of, of Mark's about how Roger has been in deep space for too long was actually in the game all along. They just fucked up the timer. So if we can just set the game to run in 16 colors for the sake of everyone's sanity, there we go, we can now use the Pump Shark Teleporter to simulate what this would have looked like in the actual game. Okay, that shell-shocking discovery aside, um, has anyone ever sat back and actually watched the Skull Fighters come at you through the windshield? It's just a nice piece of animation that I'm sure 99% of all players must have missed because they were busy trying to crash learn the weapon system. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, Mark Crow actually does turn his head. It's not a completely unused animation. The timer's just off. And, uh, oh, Flea Pot in four colors? Yeah, it's horrifying. <laughs> Look at this shit. You can't even see where the dunes begin and end. This is, this is death by dithering. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, until next time, I'll see you around the Chrome Street.